Subway construction. Subway construction employs various methods depending on factors like geology, urban density and project budget. Here are some common construction methods. 1. Cut and cover. This method involves digging a trench along the street, constructing the subway tunnel, and then covering it. It's often used in urban areas where the subway runs close to the surface. 2. Tunnel Boring Machines TBMs. TBMs are large machines that excavate tunnels underground. They are particularly useful for deep tunnels and in areas with difficult ground conditions. TBMs can minimize surface disruption and are often used in urban environments. U3. Jack and bar. This method is typically used for short distances and involves jacking a steel casing through the ground while boring out the soil from inside. It's often used for crossing under the obstacles like rivers or roads. 4. New Austrian Tunneling Method NATM. This technique focuses on using the natural strength of the surrounding rock or soil to support the tunnel. It involves careful monitoring and is adaptable to various ground conditions. 5. Mining method. In some cases, traditional mining techniques are employed, especially in rock formations. This involves drilling and blasting to create the tunnel. 6. Deep excavation. For subways built at significant depths, deep excavation methods, such as diaphragm walls or sea camp piles, may be used to create vertical walls and prevent soil collapse. 7. Immerse 2. This method involves constructing segments of the tunnel in a dry dock, then floating them to the site and sinking them into a pre-dredged trench on the riverbed or seabed. Each method has its own set of advantages and challenges, and the choice often depends on the specific project requirements and environmental considerations.